All right, when we're going to put the bolt and we're going to put the weapon system back together, you have the action bars, you have the bolt carrier, and you have the bolt. Notice that the back of the bolt is rounded and the front of the bolt is flat. The bolt carrier has a rounded area and a flat area. The way these two marry together is the flat goes on flat and the rounded goes on a rounded area. The bolt carrier can be placed on the action bars. It only fits in one way. It won't fit in there wrong. So that's on the action bars. Then I can put my bolt on top of my bolt carrier, flat to flat. Then I'm going to insert it back into the weapon system. It goes in there about halfway and then stops. It won't go any further. So I have to manipulate the weapon system by pressing up on the shell elevator to find the shell latches on the inside. I depress that shell latch on the ejection port side and it comes back just about, what is that, a half an inch? Then I go to the other shell latch and I press that and it comes back the rest of the way. Then I press the action bar lock lever, which is the small thin serrated button forward of the trigger guard, and it comes all the way back. So there's actually three different buttons or levers that you have to press in order to get the bolt back in the weapon system.